What's going on everybody, it's me the Great Heisman here and today I'm going to be doing a normal commentary. I want to give you people my thoughts on the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifications and boy what can I say, it's been a crazy ride man. Uh, but one thing that freaking stuns me is USA didn't qualify, you know. They didn't qualify for the first time since 1986, they lost to Trinidad and Tobago today. I don't get how you lose but... It is what it is, man. Uh, don't know what to say about U.S. soccer, man. I mean, U.S. soccer just hasn't been the same lately. The only good player on the U.S. soccer team is Christian Pulisic, or Pulisic, however you pronounce his name. And I thought he was going to, like, carry us to the World Cup. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But I hope that in four years, he's going to be able to experience his first World Cup because he's my favorite player for the U.S.A. soccer team. I mean, that dude is just absolutely talented as hell. He's possibly the best talent we've had since Donovan because my all-time favorite player for U.S. soccer is Landon Donovan. So, I mean, I really feel bad for Christian Pulisic, man, but I hope he uh, has all the success at Dortmund. And next thing is Chile also didn't qualify, so that surprised me as well because this is a team that won back-to-back -back Copa America titles, and I think that they're uh, the first south american team for i don't know this decade to win back-to-back -back copa american titles i'm not sure though because i don't really follow copa america that much but i mean i watch it when it's on tv and i watched the uh and they also made it to the uh, confederations cup final this year and i watched that match i was in poland that was a crazy match but i mean chile made a mistake in the goal area and germany scored but chile were looking like a very promising team i mean they do have the talent on that team arturo vidal uh, Alexis Sanchez and Eduardo Vargas, who is another decent striker from what I've saw of him on uh, on TV. The guy had like a crazy game versus Mexico two years ago, if anyone remembers that. Yeah, I know, that was pretty uh, crazy. But I mean, the good news is Argentina qualified, which makes me happy because, you know, I mean, if Argentina didn't qualify for the World Cup, then I would have really felt bad for Messi because, I mean, Messi's a very talented soccer player, same with Ronaldo, I am both a big fan of Messi and Ronaldo. I don't really have any... I'm not really going to pick Team Messi or Team Ronaldo just because I think they both are great soccer players who have their own style of play. But also, I mean, the Netherlands, they didn't qualify as well, which also surprised me. I mean, well, it didn't really surprise me because, I mean, they've been struggling for the past two years. I mean, after they finished third in Brazil, they just haven't been the same team as they were five years ago because i mean they made it to the 2010 world cup and they finished third in brazil like how i said before but now they missed out on the euros and now they missed out on the world cup i mean so uh do you guys think that the netherlands will be back i mean i do think that the netherlands will be back i think that they're just going through a phase of uh, rebuilding and uh, i think that in maybe two to four years they should be back on top again i mean they do have the talent in my personal opinion they still have Depay, who uh if you give time he's gonna possibly turn out to be a world-class player because even Ronaldo himself and all the uh, soccer legends or most of them been praising Depay I mean I know he didn't have his best season at United but hey things like that happen all the time I mean just look at Kaká you know remember when he was at Real Madrid I heard he didn't have his best career there either but uh basically you just gotta give Depay time and I think he's gonna be on the same level as Ronaldo and Messi is and maybe like two to three years i know i sound crazy as hell for saying that but that's just my personal opinion however the biggest thing that surprised me in this whole entire world cup qualifying campaign was that poland finally made it to the world cup for the first time since 2006 because that was the last time poland has ever made it to a world cup so they broke an 11 year drought man you know i'm happy as hell because you know i mean lewandowski and poland also has other types of talent grosicki and i think he's been like he had like the most chances created in the EFL championship or whatever it's called. He plays for a whole city. Then Poland has uh, Camille Gleek and but Piszczek. He's also another talented right back. He's one of the best right backs in the world. And I think he's like he's no he he's definitely a top five right back in the Bundesliga. But unfortunately, he's out for injury till 2018. But I'm hoping he's gonna come back just in time for the World Cup. I'm hoping he doesn't get cut from the squad because not having him will suck. Then you also have uh, Blaszczykowski and Milik, who is pretty talented as well. Well, I mean, he was good in the Euro 2016 qualifiers, but in the Euro, he wasn't really the same guy as he was. I mean, the guy just had terrible finishing, but now he's out for like a couple of months with an injury. So I'm hoping he 
returns and they also have other guys they have a whole bunch of guys i can name entire list but i don't want to bore you guys just because probably most people don't know them also iceland are going to be making their debut in the world cup for the first time ever so it's going to be interesting to see how they perform i mean we all know what happened last year they performed the biggest upset of the decade but i don't know what was the bigger upset greece beating portugal in the euros back in 24 to claim their first euro title or Iceland upsetting England 2-1 to one at the Euros last year. I mean, they're only a nation of 300,000 people, and they beat a nation of 60 million people. I don't know how the hell that happened, but that just freaking blew my mind. But, I mean, I've got nothing against England. You know, England have been a bit down as well. Last time they were, they made it in a tournament was, I think, the 1990 World Cup, where they lost the penalties on Germany. But England is looking pretty talented, if you ask me. They got Harry Kane, Dele Ali. And uh, who else? Oh, yeah, also Marcus Rashford. If he gets more playing time, then I think he's going to carry England far. You know, I think the most exciting prospect out of all the players would definitely have to be Marcus Rashford. But anyways, that was pretty much my video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share the video. It helps me out a lot. Click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you know when I'm going to upload a video. And anyways, guys, have a good one.